This is the short story of how Berlin the polar bear temporarily realized freedom before promptly being tranquilized and placed back into captivity. Berlin the polar bear was minding his own, depressed and unhappy and far from his home. In the Superior Zoo, Duluth, Minnesota. Till one fateful night came with a terrible rain and Berlin the polar bear's sorry luck changed and life at the zoo would never be the same. Well, it rained and it rained and it rained still some more until birds and beasts flooded out of the door. Where's Noah's Ark when you need it? There was panic and brouhaha, a hullabaloo. Pour in came the water, and all hell broke loose. The donkeys and goats and the sheep, they all died. The snowy owl drowned as the river did rise. damn barn was underwater. With the heavy rain water overwhelming the sewers, the roads were all closed while folks stayed indoors. And meanwhile, back in the Arctic exhibit, Berlin was sleeping in the dark of his cage, ignoring the bedlam the bustle, the rage. He was dreaming of bounding across endless miles, and deep in his slumber, the polar bear smiled. And the wind and the rain and the rolling floods came and lifted Berlin over the security gate. And when he opened his eyes, he discovered that he was free. Oh, Berlin, dreams of freedom. When Kingsbury Creek flooded the zoo. Seeing a polar bear in the middle of Grand Avenue. Oh, Berlin, dreams of freedom. Oh, and Kingsbury Creek flooded the zoo. And someone reported seeing a polar bear in the middle. such a thing is to set free the animals and to let Berlin be. Not to mention the need for a real solution to climate change and global warming. Then all of our friends, the whales and the fishes, will have a real future free of human selfishnesses. Seeing a polar bear in the middle of Grand Avenue.